Hello there again, right. This is a bit different for a change. It's all about DJI drones and um, the particular drone in question here is the DJI Phantom 4 Professional, just in case you want to know. There's the controller. If you're wondering what that is, that's the DJI Crystal Sky mount. You may or may not have that. You might have the other mount for tablets and phones. This here though is the special stuff. This is called the Titan Switch antenna system and it's specifically designed as you can see here this has been removed and a new system fitted. I'm not going to go through how to do it there's plenty of videos on YouTube to explain how to change the antenna system but basically what it comprises of is replacing the stock antennas which are a couple of plastic thingamajiggers that come out here which then go feeding in via feeders into the controller itself <clears throat> and um, what you need to do is open this up take those out take the antennas out the end and replace with these feeders going in it's quite simple to do if you're confident enough with a screwdriver so um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to find to explain how to do that but I'm here to explain this system which I think is superb. What have you got? You have the whip antennas just regular sized ones which provide normal coverage vertically polarized just like the antennas um, in the drone. Then you've got the extended whip antennas. These give 9 decibel gain. They're quite long as you can see. But if you need them, they're there. You have the circular polarized um, panel which is great because depending on what your orientation is to the drone it doesn't matter whether you turn it that way that way or whatever signal strength is maintained because of the circular polarization so that's really handy and it's directional as well so you get more distance so reliability of signal in that way whereas these ones that i just showed you a moment ago are om omnidirectional this is the amplifier unit. Turn it on, it's also got its built-in battery, easy to charge, very quick to do, a couple of hours from naught to 100%. Great. Connectors at the back, and there's your charging point. Every single part of the switch system has this, and I don't know how easy it can be seen here, but this is like a key swivel um, joiner uh, together, joiner or togetherer, um, and it connects to the back of the controller, and then you can add all of your other gubbins from the set to this to give more gain and amplification for, for signal strength. Um, depending on what you need for the different circumstances you find yourself in. So, why is this so good in particular? Well, normally when you get an antenna system, these are the connectors, as you can see here. Normally, you have to screw them on like that. And it's really, really annoying, fiddly, because some of the connectors are tight uh, behind the remote, um, it can be a pain to set up. This system has a push-on connector. All of them are, which is really quite innovative. So let me show you what that looks like. Here's the controller. If I want to connect the whip antennas, these, I just take this little bracket here which acts as a kind of device to hold them together. 
put each of them through there like that so it's ready and then I connect to the back of this one there, one there and I simply push them in done there you go there's your whip antenna configuration that will be good for omnidirectional usage normal usage it will work with both 2.4G and 5.8G frequency settings so no problem there you may want some gain and if that's the case take these off deploy the big bodies here slot them in plug and play off you go but you may not want those and this is where the clever stuff comes in see this key at the back you've got the directional antenna so unplug that because get that out of the way now you have a directional panel and without without the amplifier that will work at 2.4 and 5.8 G take that off amplification wrong way there's your amplifier there's your directional antenna amplified with the amplifier it will only work at 2.4 G if you don't want directional and you want omnidirectional you can use this and now you've got amplified whip antennas Guys, this is a brilliant system, and I think it's the first one on the market where it gives you multiple options to cover multiple different scenarios. You might be on the beach of a city where you're allowed to fly. However, buildings, houses, they broadcast strong Wi-Fi signals, and they leak out, and they can find their way into your line of sight between yourself and the drone and they can cause sources of interference they can interfere directly with the controller they can interfere with the aircraft causing risk of disconnection um, or dropped off signal so you get less distance or less reliability of your video feed that's not good so this system here you can adapt to the situation you're in you might find that your whip antennas are not doing such a good job so you can bring the craft back put the amplifier on and the whip see if that beefs things up you might have some clutter and um, if you've got clutter but you want to get um, reasonable coverage um, then go for the bigger whip antennas or you might want to do directional put the directional circular polarized antenna on that's great and also if you've got clutter in the way or foliage and trees in the countryside you might find that that amplified will work better this is not about getting ridiculous distances although you do see a lot of people attempting that on YouTube uh, this is all about maintaining as strong a signal as possible within the radius of distance that you can legally do the whole idea is to get reliable strong signal all of the time maximum five bars for transmitter and video feed all of the time as much as we possibly can and minimize the risk of disconnection from the aircraft that's what it's all about 
I didn't show you before but um, <clears throat> I'll just do it quickly just to demonstrate the connectors because obviously you have to do this. All you do is do that, do that, put this on, and then behind here you connect up the connectors like this. It's really, really quick, very intuitive. There you go. Simple as that, very quick. And then, once you've done that one, you either put that on, or if you want to connect the directional, connect these up here, So you've then got that ready. Connect your directional antenna to it. Swap it around and connect these up. And this is a bit more difficult because it's close to the amplification unit. And there we go. Done. That's all connected up. It's a bit front heavy, but it's okay. It's not too bad, it's quite well balanced. Once you've got a tablet on it or something like that, or a crystal sky like I use, no problem. And once you've finished, just disconnect. Bink, bink. Take it off. that is great there's a bonus with this system and this I'm really really pleased about this here believe it or not is a car kit and it's the first one I've ever seen but basically the idea is you connect this to your window of your car or a flat clean metal metallic surface there's your suckers plonk it on and then what you can do is obviously manipulate this into position so like that for instance do that point it in the general direction where you're going to be flying you might do it at the side window like that if you're doing it like that, you'll have to put this down a little bit. And the great thing is, you then can connect these up to your controller at the end. Sat in your car, or you put your controller in the car waiting for you to arrive. And then what you can do is do exactly the same again with this attach a directional attach your whip antennas like that and so on and so forth add your antenna or whatever you want to do. So, <clears throat> it's a complete system which should cater for every or most situations you may ever likely find yourself in. Um, where do you get this from? You get it from a company called Titan Drones Incorporated, um, www.commandcase.com. It's very simple to fit. Uh, you just need some, um, some good, proper electronic screwdrivers uh, to get into that. There's plenty of instructions online as to how to do that. I'm not going to bore you with all of that nonsense. 
but this system is around about 300 pounds sterling all told this is a bit extra um, I think I paid $80 for this and of course um, you'll have to pay postage and packing as you would with most things and you may get some customs duty that you have to pay on top of that but this isn't available in Europe from what I can tell. I ordered this directly from the United States. It's absolutely superb. There hasn't been a situation where I found it lacking or without an option that I can deploy um, to take care of the circumstances I'm in. The large whip Omni antennas um, alone or amplified are great for most situations in the countryside um, they'll get interfered with if you're in a more urban landscape so I wouldn't advise using those use these um, but what those are good for is for dealing with you know moderate to minor to moderate clutter like trees, foliage and stuff like that that might be getting in the way. This is great when you want some distance and some, you know, you've got a clear, clear way towards it or you want some penetration. That's fantastic and amplified even better. So, if you're a drone flyer, if you're looking for a solution to stop you losing connection to your drone or um, your coverage suddenly drops off your connection gets weak having a system like this has been a godsend and this might or might not interest you as a result so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing this and um as i said if you want to go and have a look see if it's the right kind of thing for you www.commandcase.com i'm not doing this for them just to in, in uh, just to point out I'm doing this purely as an info video um, but go and have a look at it see if it's a system for you and it's also available not just for the Phantom 4 Professional the Mavic Pro Mavic 2 the Mavic Air there's a Mavic Air system there's also Titan switch systems for other drones like unique drones and other manufacturers as well so they cater for a lot of different drone brands and a lot of different drone models go and check it out thanks very much for watching